Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And we're at a live car show, the Muscle Car and Corvette National. And I'm with Don Martins, who has a car that's only one of 69 originally produced. Don, what year make and model is this one? This is a 1969 Camaro with the uh, Copo, which is Central Office Production Option, number 9560, which means that it came from the factory with an aluminum 427 engine. The ZL1? Yes. So let's take a look at the back of this car first, so we can show you this one. Now, Don, is this the original color for this car? Yes, it is. It's uh, code 69 Cortez Silver. Cortez Silver. Let's open up the trunk. We've got some treats in there for him, shall we? All right. We've got the Camaro there. Let's see the exhaust. So the first thing that's striking is you can see, well, we have hubcaps there because, well, there's no hubcaps on the car. So why are the hubcaps in the back? Well, I tried to restore this car as it as it would appear if we're leaving the assembly line at Norwood uh, plant down in uh, near Cincinnati, Ohio, and the hubcaps were delivered inside the trunk to the uh, accepting dealer who placed an order for the vehicle. And all the markings correct. So the, the caps in the back because that's the way it came from the factory. Got it. So tell me what we have here on this uh, sheet. This is the uh, original uh, computerized generate, uh, generated sheet that appeared on all 1969 Camaros. As you can see, it's got the computerized printing, and then the last six digits of the VIN number were stamped in using a stamp. And the main item here is the high-performance unit for yes. $4,160 and some change, and then the overall $7,200. Now there's a second sheet. Now why do we have a second sheet? Because this one is not computer printed. No, this one was done on a typewriter. Yeah. The, uh, the car was sent to uh, Fred Gibbs Chevrolet, who placed the initial order for 50 to qualify for NHRA Superstock Drag Race. Got it. When he got the, the invoice for the first two, he contacted the, the main Chevrolet's main office and said it was not the number that he and Vince Piggin agreed upon. So the Chevrolet said we would return whichever ones you cannot sell back to Norwood to be redistributed to other dealers throughout the nation that would be interested in this model. So we'll put that back in there. Let's go to the interior of the car. But before I do that, let's shut the trunk for a moment. I'm going to show the overall side of the car. Come right along with me, Don. Now, is that hood unique to this car? Well, that was the, uh, the ZL2 option, which is kind of coincidental with the ZL1 engine. Uh, it was designed by uh, Larry Shinoda for General Motors as the rear-facing fresh inlet split. Which is right which here. It would allow fresh air to be drawn into the carburetor. Got it. And it was available on more than just the Copo. It was available on, on Super Sports and also z What's the cubic inch on the ZL1? 427, 427 cubic inches. Before you open it, let's take a look back at the overall look at the car. Well, see, the car looks wonderful. Let me uh, do the interior first, if I may. As you can see, it looks just like a plain tank it car. Does, it does. Can I open this? Yes. Thank you. Go ahead. Stay right there. I just want to get that there. And as we open it, and you're absolutely right, it looks plain Jane, nice buckets, nothing catching your attention, but then again, we got to remember, this is basically a drag car. Yes, uh, most drag racers would use their own tachometers and oil pressure, water, uh, water temperature, and amp gauges to, to uh, keep tap on the edge.
No, uh, no cluster there. And surprisingly, am I correct? No tack. As a matter of fact, all of Fred Gibbs' cars came with the black standard interior. The black standard interior, the four-speed, and the Camaro over there. The radio uh, delete. Yes. And just the, uh, we'll call them the warning lights there with the AC. If you notice, this, uh, this car has a stick shift in it. Is it the Hurst shifter? What's the, what's the name on that, Don? Is it, is it a Hurst shifter? Or? Hurst shifter. Hurst shifter. It came on all uh, uh, 69 Camaros with high performance. Let's take a look under the hood, shall we? Sure. Now, Fred Gibb ordered his cars all the same interior. The only exceptions to his order were if you want an automatic or a four-speed, which the automatic would be a turbo 400, the four-speed would be an M21. Which is this one? Muncie. And then the other op option was color. That's it. That's all you got. That's what I was looking for. There, there is a uh, on the firewall there. There's your tag. There's not much on that tag. No, it just tells you what the, uh, the date was and what the X code is. It states it was a uh, X44 system with a standard base with no style trim. No chrome around the wheel wells, no chrome around the headlights. So, as you can see, aluminum block. Aluminum heads, aluminum intake, all business right there. Now, this, this car out of Fred Gibbs' initial order was the first four speed. This is the first one. All of the proper markings. How do you find all the details when restoring the car? when there's only 69 of them to get it back to this. Well, that PT and B on the firewall stands for paint, trim, and uh, I don't know what the B stands for, but it's, it's an assembly line saying it meets... Uh, paint, the, trim, and blowing people away. Yeah, that could be it. <laughs> <laughs> Body. Body, Body okay. Other there we go. Anyways, the, the, uh, uh, the, those PT and Bs are on other Camaros as well as this one. It's not just for this model. Okay. So let's uh, let's fire it up, shall we? Sure. And I'll stand behind you for a moment. We'll hit the brakes. We'll get a little exhaust rev. your keys in that time frame. <laughs> Come on out. Great hood. Well, Don, what a great car. So much fun meeting you. So much fun having a wonderful time seeing this very rare car. Thanks for bringing it to Chicago. Thanks for being on my car store. Can I add something? Yeah, please. I've had this car since June 12, 1976, and it was my very first car. 
That's a good ad. <laughs> 1976, so it's been a, a lifelong friend. Yes, what it's a been a, a lifelong project to get it back in assembly line condition. Well, that said, Don, you are an incredible caretaker of an amazing car, and thanks so much for being on my car today. Thank you.